So you telling me? Yo, so you tell Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Danny J. Quick and this is the Quick Comic Book Review where we check out comics that you may not have ever heard of before. Uh, this week we got a special, special book. It's actually an older book. I didn't realize this book came out in uh, 2012, but it's um, Captain Korea and it's by Ed Foychuk. I know I said it right because I asked him and that's how he said to pronounce it. Foychuk and um, Jason Burnett. So, um, this book, like I said, it came out in um, October 2012, and um, I've actually been following Ed for years. Um, I know him, I knew him before as Juggertha, he's an artist, and I used to follow him on DeviantArt. I actually, based on of Ace Blade and King Supremes, you know, um, I followed his templates for uh, when I was developing Ace Blade and King Supreme. So, um, I know he's an amazing artist, and uh, I actually didn't know that he even had a book until recently so uh, now that I'm reviewing reviewing indie comics I wanted to check it out especially since he's about to start um, getting back into to making more of them so Captain Korea by Ed Foychuk and Jason Burnett so this book held up pretty well it's um like I said it was from 2012 but the art is still solid the uh, the story is still solid it the it's written very well the um the action in it it's it's paced very well it's a it's a standard comic but you know um i only like three you know three parts of it i really like the beginning i um i really like the middle and then i really like the end of it so like it was a good it's a good book it's a it's a solid book you know I'm, i i write comics and i also letter comics so i've been working in, a, in indie comics for about almost 10 years now and I've learned a lot, and this is uh, miles above anything that I could have done in 2012. Shoot, it's better than what I could be doing right now, to be honest. So, at the beginning of the book, you see here, um, Captain Korea, the title character, he wakes up, and uh, he's like, oh, I feel like I just got run over by a bus. You know, um, you see the art is outstanding. You see, uh, you can see the Asian um, characters here, so... I'm, I'm I'm assuming this is uh, this is Korea, of course. The cap is Captain Korea, so of course this is Korea. So uh, probably Seoul, Korea. Uh, you see the 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 title character right here. See the blood come out of his mouth, the blood splatter. The coloring on it is is it's got that mute those muted tones, um, and it kind of gives you the the sense of 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 awe. You know, it kind of gives you that flashback feel because it's kind of uh, kind of got those got those muted tones. You kind of see some big something here off in the distance you can see the um the foot these holes in the ground and you know the cars flipped over glass broken everywhere people running around like they just don't oh y'all when, when it's not wrapped so, uh so the, and this is that that's the hook you know i talk a lot about um indie comics you have to have that hook so it starts off really good you see the the title character get up he's bloodied he's beaten and then uh you know, you go directly back into the past. Um, you go, you go flashback, and, and the, there's a character speaking that says, "This is Seoul, a city of 20 plus million, and every one of those people are busy doing something cool." I'd like to say that I'm one of them, but I'm not that lucky. To find me, you have to look way past them, into one of those tomb-like glass towers in the background. I'm not even lucky enough to be this guy. That maniacal looking comb over dude is my boss. To find me, you have to look through the ocean of cu cubicles behind him. Back here. I really like that. I really like that back here. Uh, I know they may all look the same to you, the cubicles, not the people. I kinda, That's a good joke. Uh, but to us here in the maze, they're very distinctive. For example, mine is intentionally located in the deepest, darkest part of the floor. Take a look. Can you find it? So... It starts off, you know, with a voiceover. You get the character. Um, you kind of get the sense of the character is kind of a nobody. Um, he's a. You, you meet him. It's uh, his name is Kim. So you you meet him here at his at his work doing his you know job in the sea of cubicles, and um, you know the writing is so good that you kind of get, you know, this character feels familiar right off the bat. You know, they introduce him. And you're like, okay, I think I know. You know who this guy is he you know feels like you know he's a nobody in a, in a sea of all these people who are doing wonderful things and then um even his name he says um 
It's funny because nearly 20% of Koreans have the family name Kim, yet when my boss yells, my boss yells about it, everybody knows it's for me. So, you know, it's it's pretty good. You know, I I, I really uh, felt attached to this character right off the bat. Um, the lettering in it, the writing is really good. This right here, you see um, where one character is talking and then the word balloon overlaps. Normally that would be a no-no in comics, but in this specific um, circumstance, because you feel like the boss is talking over him. You know, he says, honestly, I can't think of it. And then it goes right into, uh, you know, what the boss is saying here. So it's, uh, you know, it's, it's solid. This is a solid book. There's a lot, um, there's, it's not too complex of a storyline. Like I said, it's a standard story. This guy pulled, gets pulled out of his, um, circumstances to, um, because of his unique set of, um, skills in gaming, he meets this guy who tells him he wants him to be a superhero and he was chosen just for that. So, um, when you get into the story, you know, it's that same, you know, paint by numbers thing, but it's done so well that it seems fresh and new. Um, this is... You know, not a character. This isn't Batman, Superman. This character is designed well. Um, he, you instantly know him if you see him. He's got the the um. The, he's red, white, and blue, but it's a different red, white, and blue than even Americans would. You know, I didn't even think of red, white, and blue until later on in the in the book when he you know displays some of his powers. So, um, altogether, solid book, solid solid book. I'm glad that um Ed is is getting back into writing these because I was. I'm very intrigued about what's coming up, what's going to happen next. Uh, they introduced the villain towards the end of the book, and um, I kind of see want to see what happens, you know, um, with that. And uh, you know, some some since I I used to be a gamer, I'm kind of retired from the gaming game, but uh, I used to I used to be in games, so um, I got some of the jokes there when he was talking about you should read the manual. And, you know, we never read the manuals if you if you play video games, you know, you never read the manuals. So. Uh, I think this I think is is has a lot of potential to do a lot of um to do really well. I hope I hope Ed, you know, picks this up and sticks back with it. I'll put the link in the description to where you guys can find it. I will um he's only selling digital right now, so um because he's actually in Hong Kong and uh you know shipping is crazy from over there. So unless you uh, catch him at a convention or something like that, you might be able to get a physical copy. I'm gonna try to. But um yeah, I'd say go check it out. You know, I read the I read the entire first issue, gave you a pretty good synopsis. I think you should check it out. And um I give it I'm gonna give it a solid four. I'm gonna give it a five out of five quick hit quicknesses. That's my um that's my new rating scheme, you know, five out of five quicknesses. This is the it's probably the best indie comic that I've read to date. You know, I and once I once I picked it up, I immediately um, went to Ed and I was like, man, I, I can't believe it took me so long to get into this. I, I really like it. The art is great in it. The writing is it's fluid. You know, there's I, I couldn't find any really any problems with it um, that were that were big enough to mention. So I really enjoyed it. I think you should check it out. Um, yeah, that's all for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you go and check out Captain Korea. Um, like I said, I'll put the link in the description where you can find it. Um, as for me, you know, um, King Supreme is on Indiegogo right now. So if you want to check out books that I write, um, I'll put the link in the description for that also. So you can check it out. You can get on um, Indiegogo and get one of those early bird rewards. Um, but that's all for me, guys. I'll see you next time. Until then, stay vigilant, my friends. I'm out. So you telling me, yo, so you telling me, if I 